What's up, guys, and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. I have been patiently waiting for this game to be released ever since we finished CMS 18 some many months ago, but then we also checked out the demo not too long ago, and now we have the finished product of the game. Oh, this is kind of nice. So we have right off the bat, easy, normal, expert, or sandbox mode. I'm definitely not gonna choose sandbox. Way too boring having unlimited money scraps and stuff like that. Expert, I would say we're an experienced player since we have done quite a bit of work on CMS 18. Uh, remove the descriptions, parts, and bolt outlines. Double XP gain. That wouldn't be that difficult, I feel like, for us. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play it safe. We're gonna go normal. Easy is definitely way too easy. And uh, we are far past being a beginner. So let's go with normal. We'll see how things go. If this is your first play, we recommend the basic tutorial. We kind of already had that with the demo. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue on in. Dude, I'm excited. I'm excited. You guys know I, I love cars. I'm a bit of an automotive enthusiast, so. I, I can get down with a, a car mechanic simulator for sure. All right, here we are. Welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. This is your new garage. Take a look around and get to know your new workspace. You have at your disposal an old adapted gas station with its surroundings. Complete orders, purchase and renovate cars and expand your garage. Good luck. All right, I like it, dude. I like it. And we've actually kind of looked around at the space in the demo, so I don't think I'm gonna waste too much time checking things out, but it looks like we start with just one main building, and then I think we probably have to add things as uh, as time goes on, but we're missing things like the, uh, the car wash was right here. I don't remember what the building to the left was, maybe storage. This one was the paint shop and the dyno, and then we also had like a scrap thing, I think in, uh, in this little shipping container back here. But let's just head on into the garage, dude. It's funny, I it's been so long since we checked out the demo, but I, I actually vaguely remember the layout of the shop. So here we are, we have our one two post lift, and I, I guess that's all we get to start out. We have just a bunch of junk over here sort of filling up space. So when we can unlock more lifts, I feel like you know first we'll take out this bus, and then the third lift will probably take out all those boxes and, and other things we're storing for God knows why. Then we have a wheel balancer, which actually has an updated sort of GUI, so you can't just leave the balancer running and go do other things. You actually do have to balance the wheels now, so that's pretty sweet. We got our tire changer, some toolboxes kind of scattered around, so we can upgrade our uh, our tools and um, abilities, you know, stuff like that. We got an interior detailing kit, a, uh, a dart board that we can't actually use, a little sink over here. There's no go, Joe. Dude, what kind of shop doesn't have Gojo? I'm trying to get all the grit off my hands. Workplace first aid guide. A very rusty barrel from the year 53. <laughs> I don't think that's actually what that is. But uh, then a spring puller. God, the uh, mouse sensitivity is pretty up there, though. Spring puller. And I think that's the only stuff we get just starting out. We also have a radio and our phone to take orders. Oh, oil drain is here. Computer is here. So T does not open the tablet. That's probably something we have to unlock, I'm assuming. What's this next tab? Oh yeah, here we go. So that'd be the car wash. We have the test path, and then we have things like garage expansion, paint shop, dyno room. There's our tablet, our trusty tablet. OBD2 scanner, a fuel pressure test kit. Anyways, uh, with that brief little walkthrough over, let's go ahead and start on our first order right here. We have a Cadillac Sedan DeVille. I should also note that I have one and only one mod installed, and that is just realistic car names, just to keep things fresh in my brain. I always had a hard time pronouncing the sort of lore-friendly vehicles that, uh, that actually exist in the game. So this is still the same vehicle, it just has a different name. So, you know, I don't get too confused. Small brain. Small, smooth brain here. But let's read through this one. So we have, hi, I was just passing by and noticed your repair shop. Also, I just had a thought. Is the music good? <laughs> I feel like I feel like we're just going to turn that off. Um, hopefully the entire intro of this video is not ruined due to copyrighted music. I'm going to leave that off. I'll, uh, I'll do some research, figure out if I can actually 
leave the radio on. But this one says, Hi, I was just passing by and I noticed your repair shop. It's good that somebody took care of that old ruined petrol station. Petrol meaning gas station, for those of you that maybe didn't know. The car that I'm coming in with today is quite a recent purchase. It was used on a daily basis. The condition is rather okay. It would be good to check the oil level and tires. That should be no problem for you. If you manage, then perhaps this won't be our last meeting. See you. So change the oil, drain and refill with new and then other tasks. So it really doesn't tell us much right out the gate here, but let's go ahead and take the order. And I think this is actually gonna bring us outside. Here we go. So the car is very, very dirty. As you guys can probably tell, I'm sure the interior is the same way. Now we don't have the car wash unlocked yet, but we can go ahead and move that into our one and only car lift at the moment. I, just because I'm a nice guy, I'm gonna go ahead and use the interior detailing kit. Um, just because, you know, I feel bad. We can't actually wash the exterior just yet. Oh, that costs money. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. We are getting rid of that. I am not uh, not spending money for uh, for nothing in return. Sorry about it. So, let's go through and see what all we have to do. We have brake pads, fuel pump, oil filter. Okay, so tires and filters, some brake repair. So, I'm going to go through and highlight all of these. And that should put this blue, there we go, that blue outline on each part that needs replaced. So we have the oil filter right down there. We gotta do that when the car is in the air. But let's go ahead and remove this air filter. And then it was X, yeah, X to put in the shopping cart or to the shopping list. So we can go ahead and remove that. There we go, that's the only thing we have to remove from the top side of the engine. And then let's, let's actually put this up in the air a little bit so we can go back there and access that fuel pump. So we're gonna click on suspension. I should probably add that to our list. Now we can take her out. And then yeah, dude, all four tires. So this is a very, very simple order for our for our first job. Let's go ahead and send her send her on to the moon. Lift her up into the heavens here. And we just have to remove this oil filter. So I'm gonna add that to the list as well. We need to drain the oil. We need to drain the oil before we remove a downward or an upside down oil filter that that could have been kind of bad but let's go ahead and drain that it looks pretty gross looks like it hasn't been changed in a while this dude said it was a a recent purchase i guess he uh is just bringing it here to get maintained quick so we have oil filter air filter uh fuel pump now we just have to get all four of these wheels off get the tires off of them figure out what size they are and then uh then we'll be good to go to order some new ones but uh we're starting out with 4,000 credits is all. That's uh, that's not a whole lot to get her going here. And I remember now why starting in this game is a little bit difficult. You guys can see from our uh, unscrewing speed. It's a little slow. It could definitely use sped up quite a bit. So that's probably one of the first things I'm going to upgrade after uh, after we get some, some XP. But from removing just part after part it looks like we're gaining one xp at a time so hopefully we get quite a bit more xp from actually finishing jobs because this is this is going to take a while Alrighty, all four of the wheels and tires are now removed from the vehicle so we're going to come over to the tire changer and actually separate these parts oh it does tell us what size tire but it doesn't tell us the type so let's go ahead and uh, and take it off it does say standard on the sidewall right there so i'm assuming it's just going to be a standard tire but you never know. Yes, looks like a standard tire. So we have a 215-75-15. 215-75-15 in a standard. So we're going to go to the tire shop. Standard tire. We need four of them. It was 15? 215? 15? 17. Where, did, where am I getting 17 from? 30? God dang it, what was it? 215-75-15. I got it in the vault 215 75 15 so seven oh we got to do this first though don't we 15 there we go 215 75 and 15 and we want four of these correct hopefully that's correct i always get so nervous when buying tires because it's it's easy to just miss a miss a digit or something but let's get uh let's get the rest of the treads pulled off these rims then we can get some freshies installed. 
Okay, now that we have them all separated, we can start joining up the new tires with the old rim. Kind of unfortunate we have to reuse the old rim because they look a little gross. They look a little disgusting. But there we have some fresh rubber on it. And I'm going to show you guys, just for the sake of doing this once, the balancer machine. Now, you can see right here it's, it's unbalanced. So let's throw her on there. And then this is that new sort of GUI I was talking about. So you go left to right, depending on where that green spot is. Click spacebar on it. And that will actually reset the, the rotation of the wheel. And then you just do it two, maybe three times, depending on how bad the, uh, the wheel actually is. And we can remove it and we'll be able to go mount it up. Now, there was something else that I'm just remembering. And that was brake pads. The, uh, the wheel highlighting or the tire highlighting kind of hides that. So how many brake pads was it? Just two? Okay, so just the fronts. Let's mark that twice. There we go. And we'll just pull off the caliper on the on the front. Oh, yes. I forgot about this, dude. This is honestly one of my favorite additions or changes that they've made from 18 to 21. And that is loosening bolts. In a real garage, of course, you'd have bolts that are a little rusty, crusty, that are going to need some lubrication so you can actually break them on out of there. So we have DW04, lore friendly, of course, and now we can actually remove that bolt. So that's pretty sick. That's something that we would have seen in the demo again, but maybe for those of you that didn't see the demo video or have no idea what Car Mechanic Simulator actually is, now you, now you know, right? If you know, you know. There we go. All right. So we have both those brake pads now removed. Let's go over to the store and uh, we'll order everything else that we need. Hopefully all under car parts but we'll hit tab to open up our our list here we need the two carb round air filter just one of those and we have a zero like um discount on on part pricing at the moment so that'll be something we're gonna have to upgrade as well fuel pump pretty up there 120 credits and then oil filter for the v8 of course got that one and then the two brake pads 80 credits right there sweet so that clears out our shopping list we can go ahead and get everything else mounted up and then i'm just gonna sort of do the other um tire balancing or wheel balancing off camera after we finish this there's no real reason to to show that every time it's a little uh, monotonous there we go both brake pads new brake pads and rotors are put back on now, we just gotta come over here and do the thing I said I wasn't gonna show. Now with those wheels all balanced, we can go ahead and throw them back on the vehicle. I'm assuming this is rear wheel drive, right? Yes, no? Mm, yes, it is. Okay, totally just look past the drive shaft there. So it is rear wheel drive. I'm gonna put the better wheels in the front then, because that just makes the most sense to me. I'm sure it doesn't actually matter, kind of like how it doesn't matter if you mount the wheels using the star pattern, but it's just something ingrained in my brain. I have to do it. Feels good to be back in, in CMS though. Hopefully it'll motivate me to work on my actual car, my real life car, but I doubt it. I doubt it. There we go, dude. Look at the fresh rubbers on this thing. It almost looks like a new car. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now we can at the very least get the fuel pump reinstalled just like that. Let's head on to the front of the vehicle. If we can, I guess we can't. Let's manually just walk to the front of the vehicle. And I have to put in the oil filter now because I honest to God almost forgot that already. And that should be the last thing we have to do underneath the vehicle so we can go ahead and lower it back down. And we gotta top this thing off with oil. And then there were some other tasks. Oh, round air filter, right. Let's do that first. And then we'll move on to the quote unquote other tasks. So there's our new filter. Just gotta throw the filter cover on there. Single bolt holds that all together. Alrighty, now for the other tasks, we can, we can unhighlight all these parts now that they've been replaced or repaired. Oil, we're gonna do other tasks. Here we go. So brake fluid, power steering fluid, washer fluid windshield washer fluid okay so there should be a drain tool if we go to part unmount additional tools drain tool there it is so it was brakes for sure let's do the old sucky sucky on that perfect looking good and then it was washer fluid i i don't we probably could have topped that off instead of actually draining it but that's cool power steering fluid for sure we're gonna want to drain the coloring does not look good on that on, on th all three of those, it looked pretty gross. So now, 
Moving back to part unmount, we can remove the cap from here and then tip the bottle. And I've kind of learned after the bottle comes down, you'll see it kind of go down like that. Then you have one more and that's it. I'll, I'll explain it more on the other ones. <laughs> it's kind of hard to follow. So we're going to unscrew the cap, right? Then we have our, our little container of power steering fluid. Now watch the fluid level. Once it gets to right there, there you can actually see the level. That's going to go down and then up one more level, and that's good enough. That's usually the max fill. I don't know if that works with the oil filling, but it definitely does for all of the like canister things. You can actually see the fluid level in. So again, drops down, one more level up, and that's good. That's, that's max fill, usually. But let's see if the oil is going to behave the same way. It kind of sucks we can't actually see the amount of oil. Oh, Funnel Gang, too. That's good to see. I don't remember that in CMS 18. I suppose it was there. So down, one, two, three. We'll say that's another level and cut it off. I think that actually worked. Only 16 credits for oil, though. That seems a bit ridiculous. Do we not have... We don't have a battery charger either. Okay, I was going to try to do them a solid, but... Let's go through this, see if we got everything correct. All of that looks good. All of this looks good. We have finish order now in green in the bottom left. So we started with four grand. Let's see what we get for finishing this job. Hey, that's pretty good, dude. $1,100 just for that. That was a really simple job too. I can't believe that. Okay, so I for inventory. Now we have all of these parts. So once we can unlock the scrap thing, this container is going to open up and we'll be able to bring miscellaneous parts in there and actually turn those parts into scrap that we can then improve parts based off of their like stars. So you can see their, their stars up above each of these parts, but none of them are actually yellow. So as we collect these scrap points, you guys can see in the top right, we have that blue little cog wheel. That's our scrap points. When we collect those, we can use those points to then upgrade other parts, it's very confusing. I know I'm probably not explaining it the best, but we can use those points to upgrade parts and make them into three star parts if an order needs that for something or we just want to get a little bit more money out of a, a vehicle we're selling. Back into our inventory, we now have a case. You guys may remember cases, they work a little bit differently now. So when you open them, it says unknown CMS 21 parts. So we have these cards, it wants us to pick two. I'm going to go with, like, the answer always being C, so I'm going to pick the middle one. Bonus case. That's good. And then I'm going to go with one. The first one and C. I'm almost always going to open these boxes that way. And we have our, our next crate that we just won. Let's do C again. Bonus XP. I like to see that. And a bonus case, dude. We're going to keep going. We got infinite loop right here. Infinite loop. Got the middle one barn map location we can't actually travel to barns until level 10 but that's okay it's nice that we have an have one already and a bonus case dude we're going we're going all the way to the moon we're going all the way to moon dude center one i also can't speak today xp good fan of that and bonus barn map all right so infinite loop did stop but we got two barn maps barn mops barn maps out of that and then for these other parts i'm just gonna sell them since we don't have a means of, of breaking them down into scrap pieces just yet. So we're sitting at 5,100 credits now. We're level 2, so that means we can at least unlock something. Unlock a new a new skill. I'm not going to do any garage expansions or, or tools just yet. Not until we need them for a job. But my god, the first thing I want to do, dude, is the unscrewing and, and screwing in speed increased by 10%. We gotta hold that to unlock it. Boom, we're good. And with that, I think that's probably where we're gonna wind down episode one of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. Once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, to help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.